Hi, welcome to Sundar's Recipe Checker. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the five common mistakes people make while they're making pulka at home. A perfect pulka is soft and perfectly textured and in a right shape. And that is what people find it very difficult while they're making it home. What are those five common mistakes? This is including the perfect dough consistency, the shape you roll it, the thickness you roll it, and how you cook it, and also how you're gonna puff it up. The burner we use, how much flame you need. All these tips, we're gonna talk about it so that you can make a perfect, soft, restaurant-style pulka at home. Stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can learn how to make a perfect one. The whole technique starts from how you make the right dough. So what I have here is uh, the whole wheat flour, uh, probably about 250 grams. I have some sugar and I have some salt and I have some dusting for the refined flour. Um, usually the, the dough for pulka is going to be about medium um, soft. So that means I'm going to add around about 50% of the water. Um, so this is the atta or the whole wheat flour. When you make the dough, you always use your base of your uh, hand and then just give a press and then roll it up. Dough is ready now and I'm going to put about few drops of oil, not adding into the um, dough, just want to make sure it doesn't get dry and I'm going to use a wet cloth, cover it and rest it for about 20 to 30 minutes and we're going to roll the uh, dough and making a pulka. Now the dough is rested for about 30 minutes and it's getting a little softer and this is perfect to make the chapati or the pulka. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it as a small size balls, about 30 grams and I'm going to roll it tight and just leave this aside and probably if you want to do it a little quicker or even you can just make it as a tube kind of a shape and then cut it in equal parts so that that will give you an even sized um, pulkas. The pulka has to be really, really thin and it shouldn't be sticky so you make sure you dust enough flour but not too much of flour. And now the making pulka is a technique. So basically you need to have two burners, obviously all your home ranges will have two burners and choose the, the biggest burner you have which to puff up the pulka because you need the higher flame. You don't need a commercial range, whatever you have at home, the biggest one you keep it for the final puffing up. For making it in a initial cooking, I just put one tawa in another stove. So basically, I'm going to put the. It is. It is. Um, it's in a medium hot. So I'm going to put it down, and I need to make sure. I just need to rotate it. If you if you are really sensitive for heat, you can always use you know some of the tissues or something. So this is cooked. So this is a really nicely puffed up pulka. And another important thing is the pulka, don't leave the, um, the pulka maker onto the flame. Otherwise what happens is this will get really hot. The moment you put the, the, the chapati, it gets sticked and get burnt. So the moment you're going to puff it up, that is the time you need to expose this into the flame. So this is the important technique.
Um, one of the very important characters characteristics of the pulka is once it's puffed up and it's going to flatten it up and after that it remains soft so that makes it an ideal food for you for traveling if you want to go for a long travel this is something has a higher shelf life and absolutely no oil and you can pack it and take it along with you hope you enjoy the video today please leave your comment below if you have any specific recipe request please write to me i'm happy to do it for you when you try my recipe Please do not forget to take a few pictures and share it with an hashtag recipe checker. Also follow us on social media platforms. Look forward to see you soon with another beautiful recipe.